What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 60 Civ AI only world battle. We've made it off to a pretty good start. We're 54 turns in. As promised, I will have a look over the religions that formed in the world. There's still a few to go, but so far Catholicism for Spain, Eastern Orthodox for Mercuria, Hinduism for India, Islam for the Songhai, and Sikhism for Kilwa. So, one in Europe, one in Asia, three in Africa. Hopefully, we get one in North or South America. But yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter too much. There'll be some nice bonuses, but obviously if everyone has the same religion, everyone gets the bonuses, so it's not the end of the world. Big issue at the moment is the Siege of Washington. Beijing is also under siege. I'm keeping an eye on it. It looks like it's not fallen. It looks like the Iroquois will conquer this, unless America pulls off a miracle defense next turn. But they have put up a bit of a fight. Sadly, I think once it, this falls, they might just collapse, which is not a good sign the Iroquois will probably run away with North America. Hopefully these other nations can all sort of be at least some... There's so there's a few more than normal. Brought California back, brought Texas back. Hopefully they can at least put a stop. Polynesia's here. Although it was here. They lost their city. I don't know where the other settler went. I think it just died. They did have another one. I think he's gone. Sorry. Also, hopefully very soon, Samoa, New Zealand, <laughs> Indonesia will do some, will do some settling. Very soon, but yeah, oh, okay, so it, this is going to be interesting, because China's going now, but the Jar and Mongolia are kind of in a race. Uh, France just captured British Denmark. We won't flick over just because we want to watch this, or I want to watch this. <laughs> but um, yeah, that happened. I'll go show you that in a second. Just as a reminder. But for now, let's see. This is pretty big. I assume Mongolia just went and China go at the start, so I assume the Jar will conquer both of these cities this turn. Which will be pretty good for them. And will be the first Civ eliminated. Unless I'm forgetting somebody. In which case I'm very sorry. But Carthage is still there. So I don't think anyone's completely dead yet. Uh, wait, what? How, how the heck did they mess that up? Oh, they didn't have any melee units. Or the one they did die. Had one they, one they did. The one they did have died. There you go. Manchester here fell to France. So they're looking pretty strong as well. Giving a lot of credit to the Iroquois. But France should get some too. And there we go, Washington does fall, which is very alarming for the rest of the world, so the Sioux better keep settling, <laughs> please. Uh, the Huns v Persia, interesting, I don't really see Attila coming down this way, but fair enough. Assyria versus Arabia, this is big, Ara Assyria's got a huge army. The Maya founded a religion, there we go, that's a prayer answered. The Shoshone pieced out with Texas, we need them to do well. We need one of them to eat the other one or something down here, just to give give us a rival. Come on, give us someone to stand up to the Iroquois. That would be good fun. <laughs> oh, every game, every game, there's always somebody. I'll check the info addicts after this one, see if they're my, if they are mi a million miles ahead. I might try and nerf them. I can like remove technologies. I can just kill their units because that's fun. Um, I don't want to have to do that because I feel like that is cheating at that point. And a few people did pick the Iroquois. But yeah. I mean, if they're just obviously going to win, maybe we should do it. Because we don't want a Mongolia situation again from the Lambridges game. Was it Lambridges? No, the one before the Lambridges one. The realistic one. It was very un... Well, it was realistic up until the point where the Mongolian Empire didn't collapse. There we go. The Jar did capture Beijing. They've not got Shanghai just yet. So Mongolia still has a chance to grab something. And that would keep a nice race between the t these two. That'd be cool to watch. Um, but either way, it's going to be very interesting. Oh, and uh, yeah, this is that's probably it. The Iroquois waltzing into New York without much stress at all. Fair enough. South America still looks pretty much the same. Uh, there's no wars going on. So the Argentinian settler waiting to go somewhere. If they just slapped it like here and got bought these tiles, that would be quite impressive. We'll see how it works out. Chile are obviously doing very well. Obviously, their economy being supported by that wonder, which must be pretty useful. I can imagine it is. The Inca sort of chilling up here in the north, maybe now going to set their settler out will be interesting. The Corral, kind of safe from the mountains. And there we go, China is eliminated. Mongolia grabs the city of Shanghai. Parthia did not make it past here. I don't really know where they're planning on going. Doesn't seem like a good move, but whatever. The Khazar's not done much yet. They could definitely sneak up here and take out Mongolia as well. So there's obviously got that concern. 
for the Mongols. Russia is just about keeping the rest of Attila at bay. That will be an interesting one. And France is... I get they're just trying to throw land units across the sea. Yeah, let's ignore them. <laughs> that is embarrassing. We caught them at their lowest moment. Oh my goodness, Africa is full of units. There's not really many significant wars going on. Just because, like, geography, they're all just fighting each other in little skirmishes. Now the cities have fallen. There we go, America does peace out with the Iroquois. So they still have Boston. Although... Not for long. Texas will have that this turn. India just kicked Persia out of the subcontinent, so that looks much better for India. And a lot of peace deals with Polynesia. They did lose their city in sort of California region, but um, they have their city in Mexico still, so that's pretty cool. Don't know if they have any more settlers out there randomly exploring right now. They might do. Sweden grabbed a third city. Helsinki, which is the capital of Finland. In, Not in Finland. Finland's over here. Never mind. That's Norway. And yeah, America has now been eliminated. Hopefully Texas can put up a bit of a better fight. Them and the Sioux maybe could team up. I don't know. They don't have that many units. But they're spread over such a range. It could work. Maybe just contain contain what remains. If they could get like one more city. I see they have a settler. Maybe put that in this region. Just over here by this crater. That would be pretty useful for them. The Ottomans of all people grabbing the Great Wall. I mean, I would probably want that too. Assyria looked terrifying. Although Arabia has put up a very good fight. I mean, I guess that is one city v3. This is like Assyria's big chance. Because if they blow it, they don't even have siege towers yet. But if they blow it, Arabia is always going to have better production. Probably better science. Better everything, really. So, not better food. I mean, this is ridiculous, this region. But, there we go. I think the Jar are changing their name. And the game is freaking out. I don't think someone's found the World Congress, although Polynesia could have done it. Just fingers crossed we're not going to crash. Just just think it's a jar name change. Yes, there we go. <laughs> last time they went last when we used them, so we didn't really notice it. Like It just froze at the end of the turn. So when it does it mid-turn, it's a bit scarier. Nelson Mandela, leader of South Africa. That's pretty cool. Has uh, completed the Colossus, so another wonder for them. Come on, I want them to win. I'm beginning to lose faith, but I did pick them. I mean, th for them to win, they literally need the Zulu to get in like a war with somebody th that they don't win, and then they attack the Zulu when they're down. Arabia managed to get a peace deal with Assyria. They held them back, which is great for Arabia. Persia's got their immortal units, so we'll see how that pans out. I think they're pretty good. <laughs> don't know. Probably never played as Persia. I don't really remember a strong time when I've been against Persia or near them. Burundi and Kilwa pieced out. Nothing has changed. Too much. 14 techs for everyone. Uh, who's got 5 on the pooch eggs? They're dead. Okay, 15, 16, 17, 18. No one's running away with it. France is now overtaking the islands. Where is the Iroquois? 17. Okay, so they're in the middle. Or top of part of the upper part of the middle. Um, Mali v Morocco. That's interesting. Ooh, that would be it. That is going to be an interesting one. Let's see how that pans out. I just want to check the Burundi. Okay, this is just Burundi settled this. They didn't take that off Kilwa or anything. Madagascar will hopefully be a bit more of a race this time. Normally it's just the Zulu. Let's see, Kilwa's here. Ethiopia might come down this way. They still have another settler up this way to make it interesting. And there we go. Attila finally re recaptures his former city. In the Crimean region. So he's going to be probably fairly strong in the east. I mean he's a bit spread out now. Like, he's got to be careful someone like the Khazar doesn't attack him. He's about to settle east of the mountains as well. Just needs to be careful. But I think he could be okay. I doesn't look like Argentina have put that settler down. I'm keeping an eye on it. But it's not gone down yet. New Zealand has finally grabbed the southern island. There we go. Auckland and Christchurch. They finally got the technology to cross. So hopefully they... Can march a bit of a comeback. I mean, what, 13, 14 population. Australia's at 16, 22. Okay, so they're a bit further ahead. But yeah, I don't think it's too much of a bridge to cross. Sadly, Samoa has not made the same. Indonesia finally sending out some settlers too. Okay, that's good news. The Huns pieced out with Russia. Makes sense. Poland is friends with Siam. How the heck did they meet? <laughs> How on earth did you get open borders? Like, there's so many countries in the way. I don't even want to know. But there we go, Siam looking pretty good still. Obviously the elimination of China means it's now between the Jar, Mongolia and Korea. Korea have actually got the most units. 
by eye anyway. They're more compacted, so it's hard to tell. Korea looked pretty good. Not much new stuff for Japan, which kind of sucks. I think this map does hurt them a bit. There's a few more mountains, and that probably is fair. The Ottomans v Russia, well, they're not going to come over that way. That's too far away. Mongolia has completed Petra. I mean, they got a few desert tiles, so yeah, that makes sense. Good for you. Parthia is just like, eventually the borders might disappear and we can walk through. Or they're negotiating intensely. Spain grabbed the city in Portugal. Seville. Morocco pieced out with Carthage and are now probably going to lose a city to Mali if they're not careful. Mercuria v Benin. I don't think they can border. Oh, no, Mercuria could get to this city here. Is it Benin? I just made that up. It is Benin. Welcome, Benin. We haven't used. I think we used them in the Africa only battle. And I just. They worked. Not, they spawned next to Nigeria, but yeah. There we go. Someone new. Nothing wrong with a new face. Parthia v Russia. Well, that doesn't matter too much. The Huns. Oh my goodness. Forward settling Mongolia. Someone's got a death wish. Dang. That is brave. Uh, Argentina did get cut off from their second city. So that'll be interesting. Don't know where their settler got to. Oh, still waiting. But yeah, they got cut off. So we'll see how that one works out for them. Indonesia did grab a second city, finally. Maybe this is a start of a comeback. They don't need to win, obviously. They can be in the top ten, I guess. That works too. Mali are looking really strong. I mean, I assume... I mean, you got to bear in mind with Mali, not only are they going to crush Morocco by the look of it, or at least do pretty well because they have better technology. They're probably going to grab two cities at the least, which is really good for them. They, I mean, this city is free pickings. Like, they, they can have it whenever they want it, basically. I don't really see the Vandals being able to defend it. I mean, obviously now they will border the Vandals, which will make it a bit a bit more important too. The Aztecs did grab a third city down this way. The Mayans have another settler they are yet to put down. Poland and Germany teaming up on France. Someone in Germany's uh, negotiation team needs to be fired, because that is definitely not a fair team effort there, since, you know, Poland has got the full backstop of Germany. Oh my goodness, sorry two Sicilies fans, I didn't even see this. They pieced out and gave Payermo to France. It was never really under threat, but there we go. France is looking very strong. And Fez has fallen to Mali, which is the first Moroccan city. The smaller one, not the capital. But it looks like Marrakesh will probably be going the same way pretty soon. Oh my goodness, so many notifications from YouTube. That was random. <laughs> random. About four people start streaming at once. There we go. Just a bit of overwhelmed. I was just trying to see how long we've been we've been going for. We got seven minutes left. What a lot can happen in seven minutes of an AI only battle. The Zulu peace out with Burundi. Now I've got to check every peace deal to make sure nothing random happens. None of those random little swaps. Oh my goodness, the Iroquois adding another city. Actually, no, they already had this one. Okay, no, no, it's fine. It just looks big. It's all good. The Sioux have got four. The Shoshone starting to curve round. If these guys can build themselves up a bit, then that's good news. And give, yeah, just give them some time, Iroquois. Give them some time. You've got seven cities, you know. Give these guys some time. We've got four for Texas. Three for the, four for the Sioux. If they team up, get the Shoshone on board. Okay, we have some hope. We have hope. We also have France, who are also doing very well. Wow. Oh, wait, no. God damn it, the Sioux. Oh, they've pulled a Congo from the last series where the Congo screwed everyone and let the Zulu win easy. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> That's the dumbest move ever from the Sioux. Um, hopefully, Texas, they don't have road. They have a few roads and then get over here. I think with the mountain, they have a chance to defend themselves. On, the Iroquois aren't ready either for this war. It's just sort of happened. But the Sioux are going to hurt. That's gonna, yeah, I, I don't know. Hopefully the Sioux take everything. Like Something like that's got to happen. That's all we can really rely on. France pieced out with Britain. They didn't give any more cities away. And Morocco lost their capital. But yeah, the Sioux, that is that is a cheap move. A bit scummy. Germany v Mongolia. Doesn't matter too much. Mongolia pieces out with Russia. Russia did not give anything away. Good. <laughs> Thank goodness. Korea and the Huns teaming up on Mongolia. The Huns are not really here, so this is Korea on their own. And that said, Korea can't actually really get over here either. But that's a sign of intent from Korea. That is big. Mongolia does not have four cities. But yeah, that's Korea saying we're not afraid this game. We've got good population. 
to back it up as well. 13, a 7. Japan with a lot of trade routes. Not much else, but <laughs> got to give them some. Got to give them some credit. I can't just be be here bashing on every civ all the time. New dynasty for the Jar, who have just attacked Mongolia. So that'll be interesting. And the Chinook are doing okay as well on this west coast. Three cities look pretty cool. Um, if they can, like you know, keep marginally strong, they could maybe hold the Iroquois back from the west coast one day, when the Sioux realise what a mistake they've made. Udo, the Benin city, I think I saw this and didn't acknowledge it too much, but Mercuria have grabbed it, so they're up to three in Central Africa. But yeah, it's going to be so difficult for anyone in the middle of Africa, because there's so many neighbours. That is going to be brutal. Two Sicilies have a settler. I just, uh, yeah, they don't really know where to put it. They are in a bad spot, I'm afraid. France looking very good as well right now. And the Jar. Joining in against Mongolia again. I think this is just going to lead to everyone having no army left. I don't think anyone's going to win this. Russia pieced out. The Khazar are in such a good spot in this region. They have a huge army. Parthias is pretty big too. But yeah, the Khazar could definitely just damage somebody. Because they have all burnt themselves out. Mongolia, the Jar. Korea have gotten a fair amount. But they can't really get over here. So it's going to be very exciting to see. Rhodesia and the Zulu just doing nothing. Yep, looks that way. Fair enough. Oh no, we got the clouds following us around. <laughs> what do we do to deserve this? Texas is no cities under siege. I mean, this would yeah, this is gonna be the difficult test. Obviously, this little army here coming finally arriving. But there's archers. Okay, it's already under siege. Never mind. I jinxed it all. I forgot they can move through forests so quickly. That is their ability, isn't it? That is really overpowered because there's so much forest over here. Um, Songhai versus Mali. That is pretty big. Mercuria backed them up. I mean, Mercuria is nowhere near Mali, so again, a bit unfair. But the Songhai, maybe we'll slow them down a bit. Put up a bit of a fight. What you need sometimes. Anything new? How? I don't really know what Poland are doing. They just seem to be... I don't know what they've done wrong. They just seem to be doing really badly. Mm, anything else new? Arabia grabbed a fourth city. Baghdad, so they're looking pretty good. Persia, if you settle right there, that would be amazing. Just slap bang in the middle. Peak of inconsiderateness. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, New Zealand have not yet... Okay, so they still can't go in the deep ocean. They can go in the shallow... How many techs do you need? Am I missing something? I gave them all four sea techs. Like, in this sort of, you know, naval tree. How on earth can a units not cross yet? That's ridiculous. Um, I'll give them more in the future. Assyria v Persia, I mean that was expected, look Persia just settled right here, Assyria will probably grab that unless Arabia attacks before they go again, which will be before either of them get another go, it would be interesting, just destroy this region's politics, love it, perfect, just what we need, the Inca did grab a third city, just up here, city of Machu, it is coastal, let's get some more boats, we are probably unlikely to see a Panama Canal now, and Mayans are about to settle the Yucatan Peninsula, and the Texas is just holding on. I think it's because swordsmen are a little bit better than Mohawk warriors. And obviously the Iroquois will be reluctant to make the upgrade from their unique unit. Even though it would make sense. I mean, I, I assume the upgrades could still go through the forest. But yeah, the AI is like that. And the swordsmen are going to be so much better. And yeah, it looks like the Iroquois is already falling back. So Texas, you may have just done enough. Those archers, the swordsmen, that's also the great general. Really smart to have that there. That's awesome, Texas. You, I'm rooting for Texas in this, in North America. If I was rooting for someone in each continent, I'd go Chile in South America. No offense to Corral or Argentina or whatever, but I, it would be cool to see Chile do well. Texas in North America, because why not? Uh, in Europe, I, I mean, I was rooting for the Sicilies in Germany in my head, but they've both had bad, so I'll just resort to the UK, which is where I'm from. Uh, South Africa, I've got to go with South Africa. Oh, sorry, in Africa, I've got to go with South Africa because it's who I picked to win. In Asia, I don't really mind. I think it'd be cool to see Arabia do really well. Um, the Jar or Mongolia is pretty normal. So Korea, some miracle game out of Japan. I don't know, something like that. Even India. They, don't, they tend to always get India, but they never do anything beyond that. So that'd be cool to see. Um, Indonesia... Would definitely be nice to see them do well. Polynesia. These guys I just want to see have a really... I just want to see them cover the islands and make it a complete mess for the stronger nations to try and take over later on. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, including Australia. 
But yeah, that'll be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.